This is the torsional pendulum, and it was designed for teaching simple harmonic motion. Stephen Ray, the designer of this apparatus, taught high school physics for 30 years, and for the last 13 years has been teaching a variety of physics courses at the University of Michigan in Dearborn. He's here today to talk with us about what makes this product unique and to help demonstrate its use. Thank you for that introduction, Colin. Five years ago, I was contacted by a high school physics teacher who wanted to know if a device for teaching rotational motion could be converted into a torsional pendulum. I assumed that torsional pendulums would be available for teaching physics through a variety of suppliers. However, I found only two or three options. This inspired me to design a more affordable apparatus, making it accessible to more classrooms. The device seen here is the result. Designed to be easily set up using common physics lab equipment like a spring scale or hooked mass set, the harmonic motion of the pendulum is clearly visible as a demonstration in classroom settings. The period of oscillation of the pendulum is governed by two variables, the pendulum's moment of inertia and the spring constant of the wire. Measuring these independently allows for a prediction of the pendulum's period and a confirmation of the pendulum equation. The equation for the period is the same for all harmonic devices. That equation says that the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of i divided by kappa. The inertia i is found by doing a summation of the inertia of the pendulum parts, which include the hub, the two rods, and the movable weights. The spring produces a torque which attempts to restore the pendulum to equilibrium. Following Hooke's law, the torque is proportional to the angular displacement. To measure this constant, K, we need to measure the torque and its displacement. To facilitate this measurement, the hub is marked every 60 degrees. This allows the use of a spring scale shown here, to measure the torque and the corresponding displacement. So reading the spring scale and measuring the angle through which it turned, the teacher or the student is able to have both the torque and the angular displacement to determine the constant. An alternate method for getting torque and the angular displacement can be done by using a pulley. Here, a weight over the pulley produces a torque on the hub and the device, which can be done measured very accurately. Assembly is a simple process. First, slide the lower support block on, and then the upper support block. Attach one of the two torsional wires behind the washer on the upper and lower support blocks. Screw in the two rods into the rotating hub and then slide on the weights. The included instructional guide covers both methods for determining the spring constant in a student activity. Teacher's notes and assembly instructions are included as well.